The United States of America is deeply divided. The superpower is burning. First, the pandemic killed more than one lakh people. Then the economy began bleeding with the lockdown. And now there are riots spreading across the country. The death of an unarmed black man in police custody has triggered violent mass protests. Public anger has exploded, much like a volcano. People are out on the streets protesting. Many are marching peacefully, many more indulging in violence and looting. They're clashing with the police. Social distancing is distant history. Large crowds are coming together. They're fighting the police with sticks and stones. New York is America's biggest coronavirus hotspot. It accounts for the highest number of deaths. On Saturday, a police car was set on fire in New York. Protesters threw bricks and rocks at the police. In response, the police hit back with full force and brutality. They rammed a car into a group of protesters in Brooklyn. These scenes are not unique to New York, though. Similar stories are playing out across the United States of America. The black community, which is in minority, says it has had enough. They're out on the streets in the middle of a deadly pandemic and they're demanding serious reforms, especially for the police force. So is this complete failure of President Trump's leadership or a left-wing conspiracy against him in an election year? The answer depends on whom you ask. Either way, it makes for a sorry picture. Look at this. This is not a war zone. This is a high seat of power, now overrun by angry Americans. This is near the White House. Protesters burning fires and clashing with the police. America is burning, so where is its president? Where was Donald Trump when all of this was happening? Underground, so in a bunker. As the violent protest erupted outside his home, America's commander-in-chief took refuge in an underground bunker. This is in the White House, a facility that has been used to protect the president during terrorist attacks. Now he's hiding there from his own people. As his country turns into a battleground, make America great again, he said. Evidently, it's not going as per plan. So what triggered this riot in the middle of a pandemic that has already ravaged the U.S.? The death of a black man in Minneapolis. This was a week ago. The fire spread and now the entire country is up in arms against the administration. There were clashes in Portland. Stores were looted in Chicago. Look at these images. Thieves broke through the store entrance and grabbed whatever they could get their hands on, from furniture to television sets. This is a political wildfire, and the president is adding fuel through his tweets. Minneapolis, where it began, continues to be tense. A tanker almost rammed into a group of protest protesters on a highway there on Sunday. No protester was hurt, but they overpowered the driver of the tanker. They beat him up. He suffered injuries. There are protesters of all descriptions. Some, as the president says, are thugs. They are. They're looting. Others are genuinely out for a cause. Whatever the motive, the issue is real and serious. Americans clashing with the police. Streets and cars are on fire. Stores are being looted. Journalists are being attacked. There's a complete breakdown of law and order. This is Donald Trump's America for you. A superpower with all its fault lines exposed, its moral authority and credibility fast eroding.